think that's the second worst GTO in existence. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Junkyard Digs. Today you join myself, Dalton from Pole Barn Garage, Angus, and Dalton's son, JD, on a farm somewhere in a cornfield in Minnesota that is absolutely packed full of abandoned cars. And in the next three days, we're gonna see how many of those we can get running. Let's get into it. Angus, you had a work buddy. His dad bought a car out here. Long story short, you're the reason we're here right now. Yeah, I am. So yeah, he got a hold of me a few weeks ago and said, hey, I know this guy. He's got this farm full of abandoned cars. I think you should really come check it out. I came saw it last weekend, immediately texted Kevin, said, hey, pack the camera, pack all your friends, get up here. We really did bring them all, didn't we? Yeah, uh, me and, well, JD. Oh yeah, yeah. Like I said, we have a three day weekend. We got two crews, each with tools and cameras. We're gonna see how much we can get running out here. But first, let's go take a tour of this place and see what there is. Starting with? 69 GTO, real deal. No, don't. No, it's just GT. The O rusted off. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's all I can give her. All right, uh, next car. Yeah. <laughs> We're off to a great start. To be fair, this thing is like completely roached. It's actually a very desirable option on GTO. Column shift? Uh, yeah, because it actually... Oh, we're being caught. As you were saying. <laughs> No, because uh, there's no console, uh, so that's actually downgrade on it, but that, this car's probably pretty rare because of that. The bumper's twisted? No, the bumper's still bolted on just fine. The frame is gone. <laughs> Alright, enough of that rusty hunk. Let's move up the driveway towards, I see a houseboat. Uh, first thing catching my attention. Old farm equipment. And a beamer, of yeah. course. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> never mind that. Four plays sled trailer, dude. You're one of the very few people in this world that would look between this trailer and that BMW and go, wow, that's a nice trailer. Because I know this actually has use and probably still works, <laughs> unlike that. Is that's that an 88. 88 wagon? Purse, maybe? No, what is this? That is weird. It's a Futurum? Futuramatic? Futuramic. Futronic. Futro. Oh, that's probably it. They got, a, they got a weight plane. They got a here. grasshopper. <laughs> what? Peta's all over you now. <laughs> Sunbeam Alpine. It is. That's that. actually kind of desirable, right? Maybe. I don't know. I'll call I, Steve. It's British, so I can tell you that. <laughs> it's the Alpine. <laughs> What's it called? My, My little dinghy. dinghy. <laughs> That's what I call mine too. <laughs> <laughs> is that a canoodle? It is. If we find water, we can go on a nice relaxing trip. You're thinking what I'm thinking. Yeah. Moving on to over here. I see a Cadillac, oh, a Delta wait. 88, is a that Cadillac. A oh, a Baritz. Baritz. <laughs> These are cool. They're front wheel drive. Oh, they're like a Tornado. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, same uh, same transaxle. That transverse 400. Turbo 375. Technically. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what's funny? These are the same wow. exact seats that are in the 98. Except for they're all leather instead of half cloth. So but no. dig the flat floor, you know, uh, because of the front wheel drive. So cool. God, but I love a car with doors. It's oh. hard to get in them without. Mm. <laughs> How about this 88 right here? How about this box right here? Dude, I drove a four-door one of these for a while. It was awesome. Yeah, that's clean. It there. smells horrible. Oh. <laughs> Told you. Jesus. Oh, yes, the HT4100 digital fuel injection. Oh. So that one's not going to run the uh, 864 yeah so that no not a chance it didn't run when it was new I turn that around <laughs> <What? laughs> all right let's keep moving oh hello hang on it's a Chevy 38 something like pre-war for sure Got any tetraethyl in there oh that's a beer can <laughs> well yeah we're in Minnesota this will run Oil bath, air cleaner, 59. It's got bucket seats. I don't know if that's original or what. I just don't know enough about them. But it's got that door, though. It's got doors. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that's his thing this weekend. It's got doors. <laughs> 70 years. How did he sleep at night? <laughs> Dalton, the Grand Prix. <gasps> Ooh, I love Grand Prix. Well, what, most what? of one. I mean, it's not that bad. You know what? I will say it's up by the house. It was probably when he was driving last. Oh, that's in good shape. Power seat. 
Removable floor. <laughs> wow. This is what Bob bought, Greg. Right? Yeah, so this is what brought us out here. It's got uh, 46 heads on it, so it's probably the original engine. Four Headers and a holly. She's a mover for sure. Okay, well. well. <laughs> I think that's going to be a theme. <laughs> I, I hope you're not right about that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's just like my Lamont. Oh yeah, because the 69s have a way different dash. Yeah, 69 is quite a bit different than that. 68 is a one-year only car. One-year bumper, one-year marker lights. Uh, they're kind of cool. I like them the best, actually. Is that gonna like come kill us at night, or? <laughs> is that... Hey, this one's up on blocks. That's a Rocket 88. That is the first overhead valve, first mass-produced overhead valve V8. Oh, look at this! Oh, oh God, that's Doors. a car, man. I hope you bought a spare pair of pants if that's what gets you off. There's a lot of doors are. Hello. Cloth wrapped, solid core, side draft, weird. Ugh. This doesn't share anything with the later Olds V8s, but they kind of look the same. Yep. Seems to be made of car. Look out, Dalton. I'm going to close the door. Oh, my. Can you hear that thing? <laughs> God. All right. We're descending down the mountain. Used something. to be something here. Ooh, still something here. That's not bad looking at all. There's still rockers in this. It's an uh, auto. I haven't done a square body in a long time. It's full oh, of nuts. shit. She ain't that bad inside. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. Dursel. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a 79, so it would be an old three. Oh. Yes. The worst. <laughs> Angus, we have to do this one. We don't have to do I this one. I love it. We can ignore it. No. It's Just so leave it alone. Angus is here. <laughs> <laughs> it's got radar TV and everything. Oh, no. <laughs> it really is a Chevy. Jeez. All right, put this one on the list. No. 54 Chevy. Ooh. Tree edition. <laughs> it's got a tree fitty. Maybe it's got a root supercharger on it. Oh. Look, so what's the other one everyone always says? Ooh. <laughs> I found garbage. <laughs> oh my god. You, you'll come, you'll be okay. I mean, this makes that GTO look pretty good. <laughs> hey, the rockers are so good. Oh. 301. Really? It's yeah. not even worth your time to open um, the hood. The frame's fine. Walk away. We're on a this could be parts. Cars and you're focusing on the literal worst one we've seen so far, and we haven't even seen half of them. <laughs> I think I know what Dalton's video is going to be about today. <laughs> Dude, this one ain't bad. No, this one's better than the other. Oh, it is a T-top car. Yeah, it's kind of like that gold one we took to Texas. That thing was amazing. Oh, these are great cars. So this is a base model Grand Prix. Dude, Bench look at that seat. dash. It's not even cracked. No, that's a really good door panels are nice. There's actually some stuff here. No land out top. That was an option. This is a really cheap car. <laughs> and the T-tops. Other than that, yeah. Yeah. Here's another one. Yeah. You got your work cut out for you. There's, God, what, what is that for so far? Kevin, a wet. Oh, we have to do a boat revival now. Here's your boat right here. Oh. Mmm. Tasty. No flywheel. That's a problem. Amongst other things, so yeah. We'll have to find a new motor. Mm hmm. Well. well, there was something here. Is that a Mopar alternator? This is all that's left of the Mopar. Good. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Dalton, I'm not going to lie. The manure spreader is in better shape than some of the cars you're interested in. Oh, it's, it's got, got more <laughs> floors. <laughs> Olds 88, Chevy Impala, Le Mans? Yep. Like 72? Yep. Just like my gold one. Why do all the fuckers fall off? We're in Minnesota, man. <laughs> it's literally that bad? That's Set like salt six was. months of the year is salt. Why do you live here? I don't. I live south of here. I know you don't. Angus. Look yeah, why do you live here, Angus? Move oh, back. No. Come home. Come back to us. Somebody started paying me money, so I just keep showing up. You like doors. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Dalton, what do you think of this door? It doesn't do it for me. Wait, Oldsmobile? It's a diesel. Yes, oh. another diesel. Oh. Why is it extra ugly now that we know that? Oh, dudes, check this out. Stainless steel roof. Is this KitchenAid? <laughs> the it's kitchen, a whirlpool. yeah, Whirlpool edition. <laughs> Probably the most valuable item on the whole farm. Those Apparently. are eight friends of Jesus and a chartreuse microbus. Is what that is. <laughs> K5 Blazer. A beautiful Model T. Another beautiful Model T. A fan of the channel. Oh, he's caught. We got him now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a. Uh, this is his hot rod right here. Those fender riders. That is oh, 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 damn. Oh, 
Yeah, this was his, this was his show car for sure. Yeah. Mark that one on the list, Angus. Right after that diesel. All right, let's wrap this up. We're taking too long. Look, it's one of these things that you like so much. <sighs> Angus, we found one. It's even a tiller and another and another. Oh, I've always wanted one of these little dinky bastards. Kevin, pan, pan to the full view. Oh. Look at what we're here for. It is a big block. Bonneville. A Tri-5 over here? Looks like a 56. This is like where his nice cars must have been. And his nice combine. This is a fine combine. Really wish that wasn't five and a half hours from home. Boy, this one's 40 more than the one you picked with last Son year. Son of a bitch. <laughs> That's a lot of more numbers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. I think I found the newest car in the whole property. All right, so there we go. We've taken a tour of the place. We've seen what we want to see. Where do we want to start? Combine. <laughs> I know you're gonna hate it. I'm thinking diesel truck. It's the most open, solid, decent vehicle I walked past. I know you're gonna go straight for the rustiest thing you can find. You damn right. So with that, we're going to divide and conquer. Angus and I are gonna start on our vehicle. Dalton is going to start on his. When you're done with this video, head over to his channel and check out that. There's going to be a bunch of videos from this place. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, Junker Digs and Dalton at Pole Barn Garage and watch the whole series. Let's get to work. So you want to start with the hard one, huh? I didn't volunteer to do this one. <laughs> what do we got here, Angus? You're a square body expert. Yeah, this one looks like a 79. Okay. C10, two-wheel drive. in pretty good shape. I did just call the guy, and I did just purchase this for a good or bad price of 1700 bucks with no we title. We'll soon find out how many floors are in this. Uh, I should have looked at that first. Oopsies. Son of a gun. <laughs> Dalton already tagged it. It's got a pull bar garage sticker on it. Throw it away. What are we tagged for? 93. Thanks, it's been 30 years. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Like, the latch is working. Oh, it's the door seal. It hasn't been opened in so long. The squirrel's got in it. Nuts. Dude, it's not bad in here. This seat has one perfect mouse hole in it. Which is sucks. Well, hang on. The seat's perfect. <laughs> There's a couple cracks in the dash. Orange truck. It actually it looks like it might clean up to be a pretty awesome color. Much similar to my '77 Ford. Oh, doors, doors. Would you calm down? <laughs> yes, very nice. Oh, the AC compressor wiggles, does it? Yes. <laughs> She's gonna have air conditioning. You laugh now, this will be the best thing ever. I'm not laughing, because I know you're serious. You cry now. I'm this crying. Will be... <laughs> Let's do the usual. I'd say sand the points, but we don't have to do that. Let's see if it spins, though. Oil looks like a diesel. Let's uh, throw some batteries in this and see what happens. Angus, we're doing it again, your favorite engine, the old diesel. Everybody hates this but you. I mean, to be fair, I hate it too, but it's just fun. They're clanky, they're clacky, and this one's in a truck. Go get a battery. It's so cool. You know, I'm pretty sure these have like the lowest towing rating of any C10. Like, yes. <laughs> they sure. were absolutely not recommended for doing literally anything with. That was like an economy thing, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, last time we did one of these, we went through the whole bleeding procedure. We couldn't really, on the diesel beat, you can check that video out up here. It's the one we reference all the time. But we went through the whole bleeding procedure, couldn't really get anything to happen, and then found a glow plug where, uh, overridden and there's a button on the floor and we hit that once and it fired right off so i'm not saying there's no chance but there is a chance it just hi everybody this is bob bob say hi hi i'm bob that's bob bob is the reason we're here it's all bob's fault bob I, anything I that happens here on out is your fault well my name is an acronym it's blame on bob so <laughs> I like does that, that acronym just like infinitely keep repeating okay air cleaners off there's no walnuts in the motor there's one or two on the motor. Okay, here's our throttle. Oh, now it's stuck open. Perfect. But it moved. She'll run. She'll run. A lot, really She'll fast, run. forever. <laughs> run real well, good. For the, rest of its, for the rest of its life. Yeah, <laughs> that might be abrupt. Abbreviated, if you will. There it was. The ketchup walnut. <laughs> Injection pump feels pretty okay. Let's see if it spins, I guess. I got a don't start glow plug light. Wait, diesel. Okay, the weight light went off, but I still got a glow plug light. Here we go. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Oh, 
Got yeah. some magic smoke escaping. From the batteries? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it sounds like we only had one. Was it here or here? It was there. Here? No. Yes. Yeah. Okay. These probably need clean too, to be fair. What? I think there's supposed to be a crossover pipe that goes under the oil pan. Th that's not a thing that it has anymore. It's, uh, might be just, uh, just gone. It wasn't firing though, was it? I think it might have been. I guess we'll try it again. Ready? Definitely make a noise on one of those strokes. Totally not how you do this. Usually you bleed them. I just want to see what happens. Oh, good. Yeah, right out of there. Why don't you? Ooh, you're warm. Ow, that's just pokey, actually. Warm and pokey. Ah, dude, that one's warm. It's it's these. Okay. Let's take a moment and burn my hands. Clean these terminals up a little bit. That sounds almost like it's firing. I don't know. All right, let's see if that makes a difference. All right, don't start lights off. That is really weird. So on your diesels, like this, you're gonna have a mechanical lift pump, which is where the normal fuel pump would be on a motor, which is over there. Bing. He is going to pull fuel from the tank, if there is any, and he's gonna push it up here to this filter, this little box filter back here. So we can open it at the out and wait for fuel to trickle out of there while cranking. And then we can open all of our injectors if we get that far and need to do that. Remember the last one we did, we barely got any fuel to ever come out anyway, but the thing ran, so. We got fuel here. Uh, Bob, do you wanna reach in and crank this sucker for me? Okay. I think we got fuel coming out of that. Those explosions are coming out the intake, by the way. That's exciting. <laughs> That's three bad valves. Interesting, to say the least. So, like I said, fuel comes through this guy into this, which is our injecting pump, buried under here. Uh, it runs off the camshaft. Like a distributor it takes the fuel and puts it to a few hundred psi and pushes it down these lines towards the injectors which when they see the right amount of psi pop open and spray fuel into the cylinder now it's liquid as you may know not compressible air compressible so if there's air in these lines it will compress and not let those injectors pop open it will not overcome that spring pressure so what we're going to do is pop these loose right here and bleed any air out of these feed lines and try her again i'm sure this is a glow plug issue but Let's just go through the bleeding process. How's it going, boss? It's going. It's as I crank, you heard the pop up, pop yeah. up, cut the intake. So that's that's not I don't good. Know what that is? Well, we uh, it went click, and uh, I was like, oh, we got a bad connection. We're just gonna go shopping. Surely something down here has got a oh yeah, good side head, yeah, head down to the super. There's even a shopping cart you can use. Oh, you're right. Whatever is happening on that channel, I don't know. You'll have to check in and find <laughs> out. All right, all of our injectors are cracked. Go ahead, sir. Let's see if we got fuel. see a slight bit of wetness on like one of them. I'm not loving what I'm seeing there. Hmm. Hmm. So if we got good flow in from the lift pump and nothing out. Injection. Injection pump. All right, we've tightened up all our injector lines. Uh, I talked to my buddy Wyatt a little bit. He concurs that the pop, pop, pop noise out the intake is like head problems, like valve train problems or something. And after sitting for 30 years, that injection pump is probably junk. But I am going to cross the relay for the glow plugs and heat them up manually for a few seconds and we're gonna hit the key and see what the hell happens maybe it'll do something though yeah you never know maybe it'll catch on fire and we don't have to worry about it anymore that'd be cool probably if, if this doesn't work here we'll move on to the next car all right bob give her the juice She ain't gonna do anything. I think our injection pump's stuck and our motor's trash. I don't think the story with the C10 is done yet, but let's move on to another car. This is stock. This car stock, just ears. This is one ear of corn. That's all it is growing on its own. Resilient. <laughs> Speaking of, so are we, because we're sticking with it, boys. What do we have here? Uh, well, Dalton said the word earlier. A blasphemous. The brasvignang. A beauty. 
A beer tizu. This also has a 350 diesel in it, but this one, as you can see, is the good wrench replacement motor. So this is one of the good diesels. Also, we were told su supposedly they bought this to fix another Cadillac non-diesel that was sitting around. They like drove it and parked it here. So good sign. Potential this runs. This is the worst one. This is the parts. I think they got it because they just wanted the body, but not the motor. But it still ran. Okay. I don't know. Let's put batteries in and see what happens. Okay. All right. Batteries are in it. We're going to see if there's some life. Let's see if this moves. I mean, this one, you know, this one was fire right oh. off. I mean, nope. yes. Damn walnuts are in it again. Get out of here. Trying to get it to run away. <laughs> Live you. Wow, there's no floor. Good. Like, it's just a tree. It sounds like a pinball machine. All right, let's see if it spins. <laughs> all right, redo all those connections. Is the throttle hanging? Yeah. yeah. A little. Okay, yes. It doesn't, it doesn't spring back in here. It's a bunch of debris. Well, the pedals rusted to the uh, grass. All right, we tighten all these. Let's try it again. <laughs> Not again. Don't tell me. <laughs> a little poof poof noise coming out there. She sounds pretty good though. I believe this is our glow plug solenoid. All right, Bob, get ready. Oh my God. We're just gonna see what the hell it does. Go for it. The, uh, yeah, the problem is Just give me a second. I'll Eat go. it! <laughs> wow. She rolls coal. <laughs> Just, it might be on fire, but it rolls coal. <laughs> yeah, the, the pedal sticks oh, to the boy. floor. I forgot, about, <laughs> I forgot about that little fact. Let's see if she moves or anything. Oh, Bobby, you got all the go out of it. Why is it so angry? Mosquitoes. Looks like there's lots wish of air. Wish my fuel there. didn't go bad. <laughs> you just wish you had a KitchenAid roof. Let's go get the air compressor, fill up the uh, tire to see if this thing moves. Straight through the corn. Thanks to a gift from Angus. We can air up the tires. I have returned with our throttle return oh, spring. Thank God. Now it won't go wah for an indefinite amount of time. You're no fun. Oh, I'm going to grab a beer from the fridge. This is going well. In other news, a guest has arrived. Hello, local man. How are you? This is my neck of the woods. It is, ladies and gentlemen, Ezra from the Snowmobile Challenge in the Fairmont video. Yes, I see white leather and I'm excited. Oh, we have a buyer for the Cadillac. <laughs> Wait till you hear it fire. Because of the blown exhaust manifold, you can't quite tell what it is. You can't hear all the injection knock. That's a diesel. Oh, yeah, I get that now. Dude, <laughs> totally, 100%. Wow, that's awesome. Well, let's get these tires up, see if this thing moves. You can't notice when it's just, like, when you're revving it up, it does sound like a gasser. That's because the giant hole in the exhaust is below the bigger hole in the floor. So it's like an open head at, the, at your heel. <laughs> it's like, it's, I shit you not, an inch and a half from the bottom of the pedal is just a, the exhaust. <laughs> I can't get the trunk to go. Oh, Angus, this is for you. A You've spoon? Been asking for this for Dairy Queen. freaking years. No, I wanted the ice cream it comes with. Nope, that's all you get. What? Why? Is your allowance. Oh, oh I was yes. going to say, he went in there with the window up. That was brave.
the worst thing you guys have ever seen in your life? Oh. There was more smoke inside than outside. You deserved that. Yeah, probably. Very nice. Good job. First one to move on the farm, Dalton. I've got three cars running. Yeah, but have you got any of them to move? This I blew all the okay, transmission fine. fluid out of one. <laughs> what did you do that for? I didn't mean to. Oh, oh no. Ooh. <laughs> If only there were more GMs out here. Oh look, more GMs. I feel like trash, like walking through a grocery store with a bush and a cart. We got to the tire aisle. What flavor did we need? Uh, white wall, please. Round, please. We have two white wall, one John Deere. We'll bring her over, she's good. Why didn't you put oh, it look in at there? This. Look at this. Wait a minute, there's probably a spare in the trunk. What are we doing? Oh yeah. There's I a think. spare! Oh, well, there's a lump. It's even wrapped in fur. Yeah, Wait, one of the... You know what this is, right? Yeah. They're deflated for storage, and there's a nitrogen canister right there. Right there. There it is. Oh, shit. That's... You're supposed to use this nitrogen canister. Yeah. It says stowaway tire inflator, and you use that to inflate your spare. This is very yeah. original. Our we should throw this at Dalton really hard. European studies of the railroad yeah, track shunting cool problem. There. Classic. Check it out. I feel like you're Magnifying gonna... sheet. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Uh, Kevin, I think you got rust in your teeth. Well, we got the pit crew on the scene. Yeah, it looks a little bigger than a four and three quarter to me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> joke denied. Here you go, friend. Found that inside? This thing's brand new. Literally. How's that going? Really good, dude. It's good. Well, maybe you go find a big sledge. Dicks. No, sledge. Dix. Sledge. Angus lunch was an hour ago. Uh -huh. I doubt this works, but Dalton's here, and he always seems to get it to work. Maybe it'll follow his spirit of just bleeding magically after yeah. sitting for 30 years. I mean, if you act like the brakes aren't important, then they work, right? <laughs> you know what? When you put it that way, I think I know what I do wrong now. <laughs> yeah, you don't matter. All right. You get a rim that's stuck, especially if you don't care too much about it. Find a big sledge, one axe, a splitting wedge, bring her back, get her up to speed, and balk. Good. There you go. Wait a minute. Ow. This thing's front wheel drive? Yeah. Didn't realize that? No, it's, it's such a small that's... front end. I can't believe they put a transverse axle and a V8 in there. I wouldn't go on the highway we for too long. To. With this? What's the highway? <laughs> I don't think that was really in the cards anyway, to be honest. I think we're really okay. I don't play cards. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Thank you, get in. We gotta get so off. What? I'm not, I don't wanna get in. Am I still driving okay? I think we're parked. Man, man what is this? I think that's Labrador, man. All right, let's go brag the dog. Wait. Oh, she, she goes good. Oh, my eyes. They burn so bad, I can't keep them open. This thing's great. Dalton's really gonna be jealous. <laughs> oh, holy shit. I don't have a transmission. Oh. But it runs great. <laughs> I was trying so hard to act tough. Oh, my eyes burn so bad. <laughs> All right, well, us and our working brakes, we'll see you later.
That's that. Yeah, that is all she got. We either ran out of g gas or uh, or engine. Or nothing's wrong. <laughs> or the, oh no, the pedal! <laughs> the pedal fell out of the car. <laughs> I think it's out of fuel. Here's what I'm gonna do. You don't have to be in for this if you don't want. Goodbye. I'm gonna see if it'll run long enough to get back where it was. <laughs> That's a good start. Um. <laughs> Not the corn! Ah! That's the uh, diesel revival. One out of two. It's not bad, eh? We think one more for this video. Yeah. We want it. There's one more diesel out here. Shit. Let's go look at it. No, let's not. All right. The last candidate here for today's little clip. And we'll be back to do some bigger, more extended, more in-depth videos on a few of the really nice cars in the shed. Over here we have the last Oldsmobile diesel on the property. This is an Oldsmobile. What is it, a Cutlass Cruiser? I think. What's it say on the side there? Yeah, Cutlass Cruiser wagon. Oh shit, look at this. It's Garfield. It sure is. Well, this one ain't going great. Uh, we can't get the battery terminals off, which is the weirdest problem we've ever ran into. And we don't have any keys for this. And it's like six o'clock, so. No luck on the triple diesel threat. What about the canoe? <laughs> Has read my mind. Will the canoe run? Let's do a boat revival for oh, the end geez. of this one. It is a beautiful night for a boat ride. Okay, boat motors. I'm gonna lie, this Evan Rouge 15 tiller is looking pretty good. This should have a pretty standard uh, two prong style here. There's the tank to match. We just need the hose in between. From there, we can make some shit happen. Uh, you mean the one that looks like this? Oh, yes. Oh. Angus, you wonderful bastard. Well, I love mostly. Angus, you half wonderful bastard. What about this side, huh? What are we gonna do here? Okay, we need the other end of a hose. We need that motor, this tank. Let's see what we can find. Ready, break. Huzzah! Whoops! I don't know why. Where's that shopping cart go? That'll make a good run, Stan. Oh, uh, it was by the tire aisle. Shit. Okay. I wish I was that strong. She ain't that bad. It's only a 15. It's not heavy or anything, is it? No. It's sharp, though. <laughs> Do we need eggs? <laughs> <laughs> Bam, run stand. There's not even mice in there. Yeah, this one's not bad. bad. That's not true, Bob. I'm sorry. <laughs> I lied. Now there's not. Right. She's looking pretty good inside. She does spin. She feels healthy. Let's see if we can find a fuel line and get this sucker running. We've only got like 40 minutes until the sun's down. Okay, actually, on second thought, this is one with a built-in tank right here, so we don't have to worry about the whole tank thing. We just fill this, probably sand the points, hit the water. Oh! oh. I'll carry this part, you carry that part. Yeah. We'll the heavy split part. the workload. Step out of my way, son. <laughs> Steroid free! I found a Castrol Super High Performance Snowmobile Oil for injection and premix systems. Look how old this bottle is. <laughs> I like it. That's an 80 sled right there. This yeah. is awesome. All right. High detergent, low ash forming, two cycle lubricant. I am so That'll do it. They got like two quarts for us. Let's mix it up. How much boating are we going to do tonight? <laughs> Probably about eight foot. <laughs> Dalton, how are things going on your channel? Really, really bad. Oh. <laughs> you can't tell me. I'll have to watch your video to find out. Yeah, definitely watch the video that's right here to find out. <laughs> I like how this morning your shirt was like nice and vibrant, and now it's just black. I can tell what kind of day you've had. Five Pontiacs later. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there we go. 
Dude, That's what we want to see. All right, let's get this off and get this whole thing out of here. Hit her again. I remember when. I remember, I remember when I lost my bow motor. That's all the words I know. I think it's doing something. I shouldn't have been able to turn it that much. Otherwise. There hey. Okay. I don't what know what this? we're looking at. Usually uh, there's like an automotive style set of points in here. They are needle type points. So what these, does that mean? Uh, why am I holding your drink? Bob holding <laughs> his drink. No, it. give it back to me. <laughs> why is yours cold? I believe that that right there is a is a contact and that right there oh, is a contact. On these plates. Because oh. these are riding on, well, that one's not riding on shit. They should be riding on cam lobes on the shaft, but that Which one they are. to be stucky stuff. Well, let me sand these and we'll put this all back together. Hit with some fuel and see if it comes to life and see if we're going boating tonight, boys. Do we have a light on the boat? It's getting dark. Oh, yeah, the DNR is going to be all over our ass. Do it and you're cool. Do, Do it and you're cool. cool. <laughs> all right, <laughs> let's check for spark, Bob. Nah, I, really I don't see anything. You see anything? Feel for it. It's more sensitive. Two, so we got a little more cleaning to do. What is this calamity? Oh, finally got one to move. You! <laughs> <laughs> that is a dead end. I don't know where you plan on going. Well, that car's probably not going to make it there and back, so. All right, we've got one cylinder going. Let's see if we can get the other one to come back to life on its own. All right, let's see what the hell happens. What the hell is this thing? It's a an engine. Water. Why would you? You can't go boating without it. <laughs> Some don't have sparks. I felt it in at least one of the cylinders. There's no spark. So you're going to say... We didn't get those weird-ass points clean because you can't get to them. All right. Well, this old girl kicked our ass tonight, but we still want to put something out on the water, so... We're going to resume tomorrow evening in our free daylight time. Stick around, because in about two seconds, I'll cut to that. Ready? One, two. Okay, we're going to ignore the continuity break. What continuity? Definitely the same day. Yeah. Definitely still, everything's fine. I wasn't even here. It's okay, yeah, so Dalton Ezra, just showed up. You look different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're older. Long story short, that didn't work. But this one does have spark, and now we have one of these. I talked to Kenny, he said this has been sitting in the shed for 12 years. So let's see if anything at all happens. The angle, bro. Oh, so get ready for the snap? Oh. <laughs> I love a good snap. <laughs> Turn it to start. We don't want to run along because it's out of the water. I just want to make sure that we have a shot. <laughs> it's priming. <laughs> oh. Is there like a needle that you can beat off or something? No, you can't get to the carburetors like down there. Violence is the answer. <laughs> Good work, boys! about dead and we're almost out of sunlight we're almost dead too also fair i did see like seven paddles over there and a canoe we can do we that can still and on a waterborne adventure into the sunset canoe is over there water is way over there that part's true that's true hmm. use your imagination all right plan b oh hell there's a gate on it now <laughs> Oh, she's mint. <laughs> this is nice, actually. Is, let's see if we get the little headrest shoulder thing. Is this a scout canoe? It might be. The guy is. had a lot of scout stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's really a trip to Minnesota. <laughs> I haven't portaged a canoe in Minnesota since I was JD's age. Do you know any canoeing songs? 
Uh, no. You know any songs that I know? Ooh, 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 I do. What's that? 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 99 bottles of beer. Pass, pass. Oh, sorry. What? I fucked it up. I I'm sorry. You, you knew it. 99 let's, bottles. Let's just start at 98. Okay. 99 shots. Five. 98 bottles of beer. Oh, come on. Okay. 97. 97. 97 bottles of beer on the wall. 97 bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around. 96 bottles of beer on the wall. 17 bottles of beer on the wall. 17 bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around. 16 bottles of beer on the wall. Hey, we're there! Hey! Oh, it only took, what, 84 bottles of beer or something? Yeah, like something like that. Yeah, I can't count. It's too hard there. The beer, though. <laughs> They're on the wall. Shit! All right. Paddles. Let's hit the water. Wow, that is picturesque as hell. Hey, goodbye, everybody. Thanks, Angus. We're doing it. We're, we're canoeing. We're, we're actually doing it, Morty. We're on a body of water in Minnesota. A truly experienced weekend. Not much left to do now. Nope. Done it all. With that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this episode as we paddle ourselves off into the sunset. We'll see you guys right here next week for another episode of the abandoned farm full of stuff also check out the stuff dalton did on his channel and there's going to be an email on the screen right now if you're interested in buying anything get a hold of kenny at this email no tire kickers dadgummit mush oh we'll, we'll see you guys next time stay greasy out there peace oh that feels nice Ooh. oh here's a shower <laughs> oh god yeah. well, it's nice here this is beautiful this is the shit sometimes i wish we like Let's work on cars for two days, and then just, let's do this for a day. Got a fucking car in sight. It's nice.